Gaia doesn't need it? I think we're all better off with that. <laughs> there she is. You ready to head out? Let's go. Look at us. Three battle-hardened badasses forging into the unknown. This ought to be good. Uh, this distress call had to be up a really steep mountain, huh? takes the keg. Burl, see if there's anything over there? On it. We'll check out the battlefield. Let's start with that zenith. Well, there are obviously more zeniths than we know about. Can't believe you fought one of us. Almost didn't make it. Whatever the rebels did, it took down her shield. But why was she here? I can access her last communication file, but I'll use my focus to scan the battlefield too. What about that crazy weapon, the Zenith? Feel this had? frost down. It looked like what? she can make it come and Hello, go. Hello, Verbena. It's me. gone now. I checked everywhere. Yeah. Still no sign of the well, asset. Go do your thing. Can we call off I'll this point of search already? Let's not forget who let it slip away in the first place. Now, I'd like to see results by nightfall. Do you think you can manage that? Hold on. The Spectre had instructions to assist recovery of the asset. I wonder what this asset is. What a mess. This will be my stash when I need it.
Looks like the rebels camped here for a while. Are they watching this area? An Oseram with a focus. Looks like he was sending data on the weapons somewhere else. to know how it worked but I'll have to check on it once it's cooled off all right I think I have an idea what happened here I better get back to errand all right she who sees the unseen what did you find out this was a carefully planned attack. I found camping gear up there. The rebels must have been staking out this place for at least a few days. They were waiting for the Zeniths to show up, all so that they could test that weapon. The Zeniths have a personal shield that makes them invulnerable, but somehow the weapon got rid of it. The Osirum that was operating it was sending data on it somewhere else. It was probably just a prototype. I've known tinkers that do that. I'd do a little trial run before breaking out the real thing. Well, I guess it's still a work in progress, if it blew up. She was searching for something she lost. Her drone had instructions to recover something called the asset. The asset? Is that the uh, sub-function thing that you said could be here? The Luthia? I'm not sure. Come on, let's go talk to Varl. That's a long way down. Something tunneled straight down into the mountain. Looks recent. Whatever it was, it must have been powerful. That zenith the rebels killed was looking for something called... The Asset. I don't know what it is, but my guess is it's somewhere down there. All right, so we head down. Erend, stay here and stand watch. That zenith isn't the only one of its kind. I don't want to be caught by surprise if the others show up. Contact us by focus if you see anything. Okay. Any trouble shows up, I'll call you. Let's go. There's some kind of old world ruin down here. You said the Zeniths have their own backup of Gaia, right? Yeah, from the Proving Lab. So maybe they were after Eleuthia, found its hiding spot, so it sent the distress signal. Maybe. like some kind of data center. I might be able to access the facility systems from that console. I 
I've never seen a transmitter like this before. Looks like it's self-destructed. This was a Far Zenith research lab. It looks like a lot of data was beamcast from here recently. From that device nearby. So Eleuthia is gone? If it was ever here, then probably. But then why were the Zenith still searching for it, the asset? Let's keep looking around. So, exploring another far Zenith ruin. At least this one doesn't seem to have giant killer machines. Or anything you can blow up. All this stuff. Wonder what they were doing here. Well, knowing Far Zenith, probably discovering amazing things. Find anything that might tell us what the asset is? I don't think so. Ectogenic chambers, like the ones I saw inside a Zero Dawn Cradle facility. What were they for? Remember when I told you I was made, not born? This is how. This place keeps on going. This place is huge. Incredible. Some kind of storage room, maybe. Maybe the asset is in here somewhere. If it is, somehow the Zenith couldn't find it. Let's look around. A control console to access the storage units. Can it tell us if the asset is in one of them? Well, let's find out. and 36 containers in storage. Please enter the container number you'd like to retrieve. 236? Wasn't there a number in the distress signal? You're right. I should check the log.
Aloy. It's you. Skin's like ice. Must have cut this from her head. But why? Hello, hello, Miss Fit. Uh, apologies, I don't know what else to call you. Um, my name is Beta. I'm afraid I, I must be brief. I only have a few minutes before my keepers discover I'm missing, and I still need to remove this implant. I had hoped to find shelter with you, but... If you're viewing this, I... I may be dead. Be careful when you take on Farsiness. They are ruthless, and they have Aluthia, Artemis, and Apollo now. But at least I don't have the Gaia Colonel to merge them with. You must succeed. Oh, this was all for nothing. Good luck. And goodbye. So she's... She's still alive. We need to get her back to... Oh, shit. They can fly. Aloy. Aloy, can, can you hear me through this thing? What's going on, Erend? Two of those spectral things just fell out of the sky. One of them is heading down towards you. The other one's waiting up here. We're coming up. Stay in cover until I get there. You got it. Get her to cover in that room. Whatever happens, she stays with us. I'll protect her. I should prepare before the Spectre gets here. I can't let it get through to Varl and the clone. Here it comes! I'm heading up top. Stay down here with the clone for now. Got it. I'll follow once the coast is clear. <laughs> Gotta get back up top and deal with that other specter. Just hope Aaron stays in cover.
Tyrant! Got a Spectre's dug its seals in. It's got me pinned down. Hang tight. I'm almost there. Just hurry. Oh, that doesn't sound good. I gotta get to Errand. Errand, I'm here. Watch out. Okay. Stay put. I'll see what I can do. Spectre's not budging from that spot. I won't be able to sneak up on it if I stay out of its line of fire. It's got some kind of shield up. I need to sneak up behind it. Shields down! It's on the move! Whoa! Next time I get it, go. I swear I'm not drunk, but right now I'm seeing double. Long story, but it'll have to wait. She needs a healer, but we need to get her back to the base immediately. Right. Yeah. Well, what are we waiting for then? You two go on ahead. I need to take another look at that weapon. If I can figure out how that thing works, maybe the Zenas won't be so invincible after all. Oh, the snow's dampening sounds.
I need to get the weapon fragment to Gaia to analyze. If we can replicate it, maybe we'll have a way to defeat the Zeniths. I should check on the clone, too. Burl, where's our guest? We're in the maintenance corridor below the control room. Okay. Welcome back. Aloy, I see we have a new guest. So now we know the origin of the transmission. Yeah. I also recovered this. The weapon it was part of somehow stripped a zenith of its shield, but it malfunctioned and blew up. If we can recreate the weapon and improve it, maybe we'll gain the upper hand on the zenith. A moment. I will scan it. Complete. By combining the results with data from your focus, I can infer that the weapon was highly advanced, comparable to Zenith technology, but not how it worked. Did the explosion corrupt the data? It was only a catalyst. The moment the weapon malfunctioned, it appears a command executed to purge all data within its core. Ostensibly, this was to prevent the weapon's secrets from falling into enemy hands. Whoever designed this weapon knew how to cover their tracks. Silence. Based on your data on him, that is my conclusion as well. And he's not gonna cooperate with us? Well, it was worth a shot. But that's not all. The Zenith got Aluthia, along with Artemis and Apollo. That is unfortunate. However, our original plan remains unchanged. The two remaining subordinate functions should increase my heuristic processing density enough to absorb Hephaestus. Right. One problem at a time. Well, I guess I better check on the clone before I head back out there. Yes. She retreated to the maintenance corridor directly below us. Varl is with her. Right. Thanks, Guy. Glad you made it back okay. She panicked after waking up and stumbled down here. I thought it best to wait for you. I'll talk to her. Hello? It's, uh, it's Beta, right? My name's Aloy. What's wrong? Is it your injury? Simulacrum withdrawal syndrome. I... don't understand. Sudden removal of a neurologically integrated data device. The brain, especially the cerebellum, goes into a kind of... sensory freefall. Everything real feels... unreal. Distant. Is there anything that can help? Do you have a focus to spare? It's, it's primitive, but I can make it work. Yeah. Booting up. <sighs> so, uh, Aloy, I suppose you want information. About you and the Zeniths? Yeah. Why are they here? What do they want? How did they get you? But let's start the beginning. I'm guessing they faked the destruction of their ship a thousand years ago? That seems consistent with their behavior, they wouldn't want to be followed. So far, Zenith established a colony world after all. Yes, for a few hundred years, but it didn't last. Some sort of natural disaster rendered it uninhabitable. Okay, so... The descendants of Far Zenith escaped a dying planet, and now they want to claim Earth for themselves? Not their descendants. What? Not their descendants, it, it, it's them. 
The same ones who left Earth a thousand years ago, you didn't know? How can they still be alive? They don't even look... What did they do to themselves? I believe it's a combination of pharmaceutical, cellular treatments, and technological implants. And, and you? Does that mean that you are... I'm not like them. I was made. On the way to Earth. On the ship. I spent years studying in my training interface. All so that I could serve my function. Access and control of the terraforming system. But why? What do the Xenoths want with it? When I discovered the Zero Dawn system had disseminated into its subcomponents, I thought my purpose was to fix it. But I don't think the Xenoths want that at all. I think they want to wipe Earth clean and start over. You said you were born on the way to Earth. In an artificial womb, I'm guessing? The Xenoths had an... Ectogenic chamber aboard the ship. An updated version of the one you found me in. They must have used a stored sample of Elizabeth's DNA. I doubt Elizabeth would have let them take her DNA. Do you know how they got it? That wasn't part of the archive I was allowed to access. So we're dealing with the same far zenith people who once lived on Earth. What else do you know about them? They were some of the most affluent and powerful people on Earth. They controlled almost every major resource, every industry. Gerard commands them. He's the one who decided to set up a base. The others, Eric, Tilda, Verbena, they resent his authority over them, but in the end, they always do what he says. Eric, he's the one I fought back in the Hades Proving Lab. He enjoys hurting people. Yeah. I know. You mentioned the Xenus set up a base here on Earth. Where is it? Off the coast, I think. Whenever I had to go on missions, I was transported inside of a Spectre drone. I couldn't see anything outside. But I did overhear the Xenus talking about it once. They were discussing setting up a perimeter energy shield to repel the local fauna. I'm certain they have other security measures. Spectre patrols, machine wars, it... It must be impregnable. What's inside the base? Launch facilities, so they can shuttle back and forth to their ship in orbit. Plus, infrastructure to gather materials and fabricate anything they need. Are there more Zeniths than the ones you met? Uh, I'm not sure. I, I suppose there must be more of them in the base or back on the ship. For all I know, there could be more of them out in space. Other survivors of the colony. So the Zeniths want to exterminate life on Earth. That's what Gaia and I concluded, too. But why? Why kill everyone just to take over? When they took me on missions with them, I saw how they... butchered. The tribal people we encountered. They didn't seem to care about a rejuvenated Earth, so... I concluded that they must want a hard reboot of the system. Then they can redesign it to be exactly what they want. Mass extinction for their own comfort? Who thinks like that? Well, without their Gaia Colonel, they'll have a hard time doing that. All right, I think that's enough for now. Do you want to come upstairs or? So how long? You know, your, your, your plan. How long before Gaius fabricated a machine army to defeat the Xenus? How did you know optimal strategy, so? Well, I still have to get two more subordinate functions before Guy is powerful enough to absorb Hephaestus. What? You don't have Hephaestus already? Guy is still figuring out how to capture it. It's not confined to a single- To a single location, of course not! You didn't even know who the Xenus really are. You were supposed to be further along by now! Coming here was a mistake. They're gonna find me. They're gonna find this place and take me back. This was all for nothing! They're not going to find us. Guy is using Minerva to mask our location. What difference does it make? You're too far behind! We're never going to beat them! Everything! Everyone! They're gonna die! Hey! Calm down. You're here now, right? So is there anything you can do to help? I have certain knowledge sets. 
And given your state of progress, expertise you probably lack. Geoengineering, of course. Computer science, physics, biology, chemistry. Okay. Well, see if you can do something with that. Talk to Gaia. I'll check on you later. How'd it go? Her injury's not that bad, but I think she regrets coming here. Feeling might be mutual. Hmm. I'll come back later and talk to her. See if I can learn anything. So I guess we won't be making use of Silent's weapon. And now there is another clone of Elizabeth here with us. But I can't let it distract me. I still have two more sub-functions to get. Strike true as the car was on. So say the chief gets his way. Glory, honor, We must lean on your strength and generosity again. Just tell it to her straight, Ducca. The tribe needs the arena. She's our only hope to getting it open again. We need the arena, but the cool route's over. That's true, but we also use the arena to boost the tribe's morale. We use it for training. Herd in machines so our soldiers can experience the glory of the kill in a controlled setting. Which, of course, boosts morale. But Chief Hikaro won't let us reopen the arena until the ballista protecting the field is repaired. We need it in case a machine runs amok, and it was damaged during the cool route. The parts we need aren't easy to find. I got it. We need to hunt down some machines and grab the parts. We'd ask someone else, but every squad in the grove is on alert. But the task is not without compensation, right, Kala? Of course. Once the arena is open again, I would be honored to invite you to compete. A wide variety of machines will be available. And I will award you prizes for victory. Not just from the arena, but also for medals won at hunting grounds. You'll be able to trade them for some of the tribe's very best gear. To fix the ballista, we'll need a sinew from a roller bag, along with some bristleback tusks. Both kinds of machines have been spotted near a campfire to the southeast. You can bring the parts back to me here when you're done. Okay, I'll see what I can do. One more thing, if you're going back into the wilds, I have another duty tied to our soldiers' morale. A regrettable one. Every Tanakh soldier carries a tag carved with their squad symbol. Rebels have been hoarding the tags of the soldiers they kill. You might find such tags at any enemy outpost. If you do, bring them to me. I'll make sure they're returned to the soldier squad mates and loved ones. Having confirmation sometimes soothes their grief. And there are bounties involved, if that matters to you. I've already found some of those tags. Yeah, my whole squad went. Here, a small reward for your efforts. But don't let your guard down. There are still many outposts in the wilds. That's Thank you, Champion. And please don't forget the parts for the ballista. You have to! Karo's chance. Good day, Champion. You've earned your honor. I hear you. Under Karo's brain, I'm watching you. We held off for dollars. Did you find the parts we need for the ballista? That sphere is a weapon of real strength. Aloy, need to turn in some tags or trade some medals? Maybe you want some from hunting grounds. But if you want to turn in the parts, we need to open the arena. We'll have to talk to Kala. Well, I guess I should go. Safe travels. I've got the parts you need for the ballista. Excellent. 
We'll get it fixed up right away, and then the arena will be ready. You're welcome to fight any time. How does it work? Simply speak to me, and I'll arrange a challenge for you. And any medals you win from fighting, you can exchange with me for some of the tribe's very best equipment. Not just from the arena, but also medals won at hunting grounds. After upgrading your gear, I think you'll come to favor me over Kala. I'm here to help train our squads. Is that a popularity contest? Good thing for you. I'll take my leave then. Come talk to me if you win or if you have soldiers tags to turn in. Well then, if you'd like to fight in the arena now, we can set it up in no time. I'll give it a shot. Good. We'll reopen with the champion in the ring. <laughs> 